正值新西兰总理希普金斯访华之际，六月二十八号，希普金斯走进北京大学，与该校师生面对面交流。伴随着毛利民族的歌舞表演，活动正式开始，热烈的开场展现了新西兰独特的传统。随后，希普金斯发表了演讲。谈及此行，希普金斯表示，重要的使命便是建立联系和实现复苏，建交五十多年来，新中关系保持健康稳定发展。在演讲中，他回顾了新中民间友好交往以及两国经贸合作蓬勃发展的历史。Just as our people connections have grown, our bilateral relationship has also developed and evolved. Trade between our two countries was further strengthened with the entry interest force last year of our bilateral free trade agreement upgrade and the regional comprehensive economic partnership. 在贸易日渐繁荣的同时，两国还在全球气候变化和可持续发展等其他重要领域开展了合作。演讲中，西布金斯也以两种候鸟的万里迁徙，比喻了两国的人文交流。A lesser known example is migratory birds. We have joint efforts to protect birds such as goodwits and red knots, which migrate from New Zealand to the North Arctic each year, stopping along the coast of North China on the way. This is highly symbolic in showcasing our strong links, despite vast physical differences. Like the Godwits and Red Knots, it's our people travelling across these distances who continue to tie our countries together, whether they are entrepreneurs, tourists, or students. 曾任新西兰教育部长的希普金斯指出，教育是新中双边关系的重要组成部分，也是两国密切牢固关系的基石。中国留学生在新西兰所有留学生中占比超过百分之三十五。在希普金斯眼中，留学生交流对两国的未来意义重大。The benefits of our cooperation span every level of education, from early childhood education through to higher education. And vocational training. Even when our borders were closed, research and academic collaboration with Chinese partners remained strong through virtual engagement. We now have over 50 joint institutes and programs between our education institutes, spanning economics, healthcare, visual arts, and so many more. These partnerships are critical channels. Which offer students greater choice of study and opportunities for our higher education providers to learn from one another. The dialogues on policy and the exchange of ideas between our officials and educators have also gone from strength to strength. Just as we've welcomed Chinese students back to New Zealand, I know many young Kiwis are excited about returning to a warm welcome in China. 在演讲中，西布金斯特别提到了两国友谊使者路易·艾黎的故事。他自1927年起在华工作生活60年，将毕生献给了中国。当天，西布金斯与北大代表等一同启动北京大学新西兰中心路易·艾黎教授项目，这也成为新中两国教育交流的最新注脚。而面对科技的进步迭代，西布金斯希望未来新中两国在教育数字化转型等领域继续加强合作。What could this look like over the next decade? Artificial intelligence can analyse student data and provide personalised learning experience tailored to individual learning styles and needs. Global collaboration among students and educators from different countries will be made easier through artificial intelligence. Virtual classrooms can connect learners worldwide and break down language barriers. And amongst all these shiny new technologies, it's important that we remember that digital is not simply about computer hardware and software, the infrastructure that supports it, and the data that it contains. It's also about adapting teaching methodologies and rules and policies to ensure ethical and responsive, responsible use of these technologies. Education is all about the future. Preparing our children to live and thrive in the world that we leave for them, we have a responsibility to prepare future generations for the world that they will face. To improve their understanding of the world, its myriad of cultures and peoples, and the future of our planet.
There is a commonly invoked Māori proverb in New Zealand, which I believe is particularly fitting for today's theme of education and the connection it brings for our countries. He aha te mea nui a te ao, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. What is the most important thing in the world? It is people. It is people. It is people. <laughs>